Aquaba guys, good morning and welcome to yet another Polo Talk. We thank God for another day that we haven't seen before breathing life into us again. So today's topic is going to be about no self-righteous behavior is tolerated or welcome. People make mistakes. Every day, all day, people make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. <clears throat> And that stands for celebrities as well. And I know that they have, uh, they're have they held to a higher standard because of who they are. But what they are is still human. There's been so much controversy with Kyrie and Kanye and this one and that one. You know, the media is a trip. <clears throat> when they love you, they love you. You hear. As soon as you make one mistake, it could be one mistake. You go from here to all the way down there. That's why you don't idolize people. God is the only one to be worshipped, not people, because we're not without flaws. We're not. So if we, the people, the ordinary people, haven't whispered up a prayer to God to help those who are in trouble or those who were caught in scandal, then we should keep our mouth off of them. That's just it. <clears throat> Excuse me. My allergies are starting up this morning. This wasn't a pillow talk, you know, to be long and drawn out, you know, going on and on and on. This was just something to give you something that you want. If you haven't whispered up a prayer to God to help those celebrities that were caught in scandals, then we need to keep our mouth off of them because they're not without flaws. I'm speaking to myself too. I'm not judging anybody. I'm speaking to myself as well. However, when you are a Christian celebrity, that's a difference. And the difference is because souls are at stake. Souls are at stake. And when God calls us to come out from among them, that means that we cannot live a double lifestyle. We can't serve two masters. We can't serve God and the devil. That's totally different than an ordinary celebrity, an ordinary football, basketball, rapper. That's totally different because they're without flaws. Not saying that a spiritual leader is not without flaws, but the Bible says that they're supposed to be blameless, which means that they're not supposed to be caught up in scandal because it caused other people to stumble. It calls other people <clears throat> to like break their relationship with God because they're looking up to you and they're watching you. That's totally different. Totally different. And I'm not saying that, oh, they're supposed to be perfect. They're just supposed to be blameless. Because when you're giving your life over to the Lord, Bible, the Bible says that God will make a way out of temptation. He makes an escape. But Oftentimes today, nobody is standing on what the word of God says. Nobody is standing on his promises. Nobody is doing anything because today's time, money is God. Power, status, everything. But still, again, I will reiterate, if we have not whispered up a prayer to God to help those persons that was caught in scandals or because of what they said, they lost a lot of money, then we need to just keep our mouth off of them because what's in your closet? That's all I had to say for today, guys. You guys have a great weekend on purpose. Make sure you get plenty of rest and know that I love you. Until we talk again, bye-bye.